Hello, what's up, YouTube photographer Ronnie Sweat, and I have to end this tutorial. I'll be showing how you can easily color grade your photos using Capture One. So, you're going to be doing this as a full tutorial, whereby we are going to be starting in Capture One to understand how to process or edit your raw photos in Capture One. And later on, we shall proceed into Photoshop and also learn about skin retouching from the very start to the very end. So, simply like this video and don't forget to subscribe if at all you have not yet subscribed this channel so simply do those two things and let's proceed so right now i'm in capture and this is the image that we want to use for this first tutorial and for purposes of practice you can simply download the image in the links in the description of this very video so that is what we're going to be using and you can follow along these various steps so within capture one and if at all you don't understand or know about capture one it is a raw processing software that is going to help you edit and process your photos in a more professional way as we're about to witness in this video and if i told you done getting your capture one and you want it to look like mine right here simply come to window and come to workspace and simply come down to migration right here and you'll have everything the way mine is on the screen and if i told you you'd love your capture one or if i told you you're missing any tool within your capture one and you'd love to have it within capture one simply right click anywhere on this right hand or the tool bar side right click and you can add whichever tool that you're missing within your capture one so what i'm going to do i'm just going first of all do the basic adjustments on this very image so in order to do the basic adjustments i'm just going to come right here to the exposure tab right here and the high dynamic range tab right here so what i'll do i'll just come to the highlights and drop down the highlights to recover the information within the highlight area and i'll do the same for the whites to recover the information and take away the hot spots from the model's face right here so after doing those two i'll simply come and add contrast to the image around seven seven is okay let's let's use five and we are going to simply come and open up the shadows slightly to around 10 and after doing that i'm just going to come straight to my levels so when you come to levels in capture one this tends to add some contrast to the image the left hand side corner is for the blacks and this is for the white so if at all you drag this in you can see it's going to overexpose the image and if at all you drag in the black point is going to add contrast within the darkest points of the image so what i'll do is i'll simply come and add a tiny bit of contrast and basically this looks okay so when you're done correcting the lighting and contrast issues remember we are dealing with a raw image so after correcting the light or exposure issue within the image we are simply going to come right here and you're going to come and simply right click on this plus icon and as soon as you right click simply come and create a new field adjustment layer Remember in Capture One, if at all you want to do any kind of color grading, you have to do it on a separate layer and not the background layer. And I'll be showing you why you should do that and why that is very important for your workflow. So with this, the very first thing we want to do, we simply want to correct the skin tone issues regarding this very image. So we want to create a uniform skin tone or skin color for this model. And after creating this layer, that is where we're going to be creating a uniform skin color or skin tone for this model skin so i'll simply scroll down right here to my color editor and in color editor we have basic advanced and skin tone so under basic we have the usual colors the red orange yellows greens and every color then we have the advanced and we have skin tone and for this step we just want to focus on the skin tone tab within capture one and i'll simply come to this color picker tool or you can name it as the skin color correction picker tool or the eyedropper tool simply click on it and as soon as you click on it you can notice that it is going to be showing an orange color around this selected color picker tool or the eyedropper tool so what i would do is simply press ctrl plus on the keyboard or you can use command plus on the keyboard and with this we're going to choose a reference color for the skin that we want to edit so in order to select a reference color you have to look for an area within the skin that we want the rest of the skin to look like so I'll just choose a warm color that is going to be a representation of the overall skin tone because 
for this step we want to unify the skin tone so in order to unify the skin tone you can see that we have some magentas we have some yellows and oranges falling all over the place so just want to create a uniform skin color so I'll zoom in and simply choose a sample so as soon as you click anywhere from the sampled area you can notice that it is going to show you the range in which that area is falling and it is going to show you the colors that fall within that color range so i'll just come and choose a warm area like i've said and you can see i've chosen this area meaning in order to unify the skin you want the rest of the skin or even the magentas to look like the color that we have just selected right here so after doing that we're just going to come and scroll all the way down to where it says uniformity and after choosing the sample area of the skin tone make sure to zoom out so that you can see the rest of the skin quite well so we're just going to come to uniformity and simply come to the hue slider and with the hue slider selected simply come and take up the hue slider and you can see as we're taking up the hue slider the skin is going to look uniform and it is also going to eliminate the magentas that were belonging within the skin tone and if at all it is not enough you can proceed and take it all the way up but for this case i'll just leave it around there and i'll simply come to the saturation and simply come and take up the saturation slider and you can see these two sliders really complement each other so i'll simply take that up as i'm taking this along so after doing that you can notice now the skin is looking warm nice and uniform but we have one setback or one drawback which is it is also affecting the background area and oh, it has also changed or altered the original lipstick color so if at all i turn on the before and after i can notice that even the lipstick has also been changed by this very process so what i'll do after making sure that you have a, a uniform skin what you're going to be doing you can now come and proceed if at all the skin that you have unified is looking a little bit too yellow you can come the amount slider and with this you can notice that we have the hue slider still so if at all the skin is a little bit more on the red side you can take it towards the opposite of red which is the green side or if at all the skin is too green you can make it a little bit more on the red side and you can see it creates that kind of uniformity so i'll reset this and i'll just take it slightly towards uh, the magenta side or the red side to eliminate the green color that was too much so right now the skin is looking nice and even and uniform so the other thing that you want to do we want to come and select or we use the color balance and color balance basically is going to help you really get the best out of the color grading by adding a given color to the shadows the midtones, and even the highlights so for example if at all I wanted to add a given color for example to the highlights i'll simply come and drag this you can see that it is adding a given color as i rotate this color wheel alongside these colors you can notice that it's adding the color only to the brightest areas which is the highlights of this image and the closer the circle is to the edges the more intense that color is going to be and the closer it is to the center the less intensity we are going to be having of a given color so what i'm going to be doing i'm just going to add a slight bit of a green color to the highlights just a tiny bit and that is okay less is always more so after doing that and i've really color graded the skin you can proceed and add the given color even the shadows and every kind of area that you want to add so color grading is more of a personal taste and preference so after we have done that Remember, we have been doing the color grading on the layer that we have created, but remember we have one setback, which is the color grading is affecting the overall image. And we only want to unify the skin tone. And let's say before and after, you can see that the background was initially green in color, and now it is having all these other random colors. So we just want it to affect the skin area. And remember, we created the, this adjustment layer right here. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm just going to simply right click on the adjustment layer. So you right click on the layer that we created for a color grading and simply come and clear the mask. So when you clear the mask, even the color grading is going to disappear from the image. So remember, we only want the color grading to affect the skin area of our subject or our model in this case. So what I would do, I'll simply come and get the brush tool. 
so this is the brush tool or you can simply press b on the keyboard to select the brush tool and after selecting the brush tool you can now zoom in and simply with the brush tool we are just going to paint back so the brush is basically for painting so if, in order to see why you're painting quite well simply press m on the keyboard and m is going to display the mask and show you wherever you're going to be painting those colors and you can increase or decrease on the size of the brush icon or the brush tool by using the open and close brackets on the keyboard so i'll simply come and only paint on the skin to reveal back the color grading that i had initially created so i'm just going to paint just like that only on the skin so that the background is not affected by the color grading that we have just created so i'll just be careful and only paint on the skin so that the skin is affected in this case i'll just come and do that and you can see it is creating this red mask and if at all you paint away from the skin area you can easily correct that for example if at all i painted here you can correct that by simply getting the eraser tool right here and you can now come and rub away the mistake that we may have created so i'll just come and select the brush tool and come back and paint just like that But usually for this step before you can even go ahead and paint or mask on the skin, make sure to always copy the adjustments and paste them on another image so that you don't go through the same process. So I'm just going to do this. So if I told you have the same photos from a given session, first copy the adjustments by coming to adjustments and you copy the adjustments and paste them on another image by simply coming back to adjustments and simply add, apply the adjustments. So after doing this, remember, it is also affecting the lipstick area. So I'll simply get the eraser tool by selecting E or pressing E on the keyboard. You can simply select it right there and simply erase the color grading from the lipstick or the lip area just like that. And to hide the mask, simply press M on the keyboard. So right now we have only color graded the skin area of the model. So if at all you want to alter or change the background in this case, we can simply come and create another color grading layer by right clicking on the plus icon and creating a new field adjustment layer and you can now come and manipulate the greens of the background by simply coming down here to our color editor tool and simply come into basic come to the green color and simply play around with the hue and saturation values of the greens or even the yellows in this case so for this case i'll simply change that so that the model can pop a little bit more by making the greens more on the aqua side and after doing that i'll simply come and take down the saturation a little bit for the greens just like that and i'll come to the yellows and simply do the same so that the model can pop a little bit more so i'll make the yellows a little bit more of the, of the greens and simply desaturate it slightly so that the model can stand out a little bit more so right now we are done color grading this and you can see if at all the effect is too much you can come to the opacity and select a given area and turn down the opacity of the color grading of a given area you know color grading is really sometimes we tend to go overboard with the color grading process so right now we are done color grading the skin and even the background and for the next step you're going to be exporting the image into photoshop to do the skin retouching so right now we are done color grading this so in order to export the image into photoshop to do the final adjustments we are simply going to come right here to image and come to edit with and you select adobe photoshop whichever photoshop version that you're using and for the format i prefer tiff and 16 bit because this is a raw file and uncompressed right and the icc profile is R adobe rgb 98 just like that the resolution is 300 pixels per inch and the scale is fixed and adjustments i'll just respect the way it is and i won't sharpen the image because sharpening sometimes tends to add a little bit of artifacts to the photo and after doing that simply come to edit variance and the image is going to open into photoshop and this is all for part one of this tutorial and i'll see you in part two which is going to be involving the skin retouching and the final color grading process and this is it for this video 
and if at all you have enjoyed this and you would love to watch part two simply like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have enjoyed this video and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating